Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a plant haul. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at a nursery actually yesterday. And I just have this bin in front of me and I'll take stuff out and I'll show you. There might be one or two things in here that I don't, I can't name right off the bat, but if I can't, I'll insert some kind of um, thing with the name on it. So first off, I got one, two, three, four, five, five plants. And this first one right here is the Hoya Multiflora. So these are all Hoyas, by the way. Um, this guy is a very thin leaf Hoya, uh, very green. I don't think it's known for its foliage particularly, but more the flowers that it has. It has these very um, exciting long yellow and white, I believe, and they're very like, they look like little firecrackers or something. And this is what he looks like. I don't know if you can see that very well, but... And uh, it looks like it's in, in some really nice coarse airy mixture, which Hoyas love. And um, I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this guy. I might trade it or sell it. I'm not too sure yet, but he intrigued me, so I picked him up. And I paid $30 for this guy. Right here. So for the next one, pull out my Hoya Retusa, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll insert the name, but I'm pretty sure it's a Hoya Retusa. Anyway, so I paid $30 for this guy again. He's quite small, but very hard to get a hold of. So he has these really lovely, almost square, like rectangular shaped leaves. I'll show you guys right here. He's really nice. Um, I just thought the foliage was so intriguing and I'm really glad I picked this guy up. And he's actually in some kind of semi hydro coco choir, like, medium it's like almost a little block of coco choir so i don't know if you can see that it's quite interesting and it's got like this uh little net pot almost which is really nice and i'm getting into leca now like crazy so i'll probably be using this again once i repot it and yeah and i don't quite remember what the flowers look like on that guy but i've actually never had a hoya flower for me yet so i'm really excited for that to happen hopefully one day. The next one I'll pull out is my Hoya Kurtzii, I believe this guy's called. He's one of the more striking ones. He's got like this round but angled shape at the end, like this round but pointy um, shape to him. And he is like, has silver specks on him. He's quite striking actually. And the flowers I think are a reddish pink. Uh, or I think it's pink actually and I'll show you guys this up close and I paid I think $8.99 for this guy which I'm surprised I thought I would pay a lot more but I think these are becoming more readily available now oh, there's actually a leaf that just fell off I'll just stick that guy on there and uh, I think that's that's all for this guy so next one, I'll save the best for last. So this is my second last is my Hoya Sunrise. Uh, I've always wanted one of these. They become like a super cool bright red orange in the sunlight. If you give them a lot of sun, they change colors. Um, and there's a pretty cool veining on it, but you see the veining a lot more when the color changes. And I got this one for 20 bucks. It's got some crazy roots going, but I'll show you a close up right here. I hope you can see that. Um, yeah, I'm a really big fan of this guy and I like the shape of the leaves. They're really cool. So the last one, best one in my opinion, is the Hoya, I think I'm getting this right, Callistophylla, the very, very veiny, really cool looking one this is my favorite so this is what this guy looks like really cool i'm in love with him actually and i paid 30 dollars for this guy um again in a super nice coarse soil mix 
I'll eventually be transferring all these guys to LECA, hopefully in the future, once they acclimate to my home. But this is definitely my favorite. The veining on this guy is just unbelievable. Makes me so happy to have this. Anyways, I think that's all. Oh, and one more thing I want to show you guys. I'll be right back with it. Oh. <laughs> Here's an update on my varicosum I got in the mail not that long ago. I got it from an Etsy shop. I actually found um, some thrips on it the other day. I think they're, I thought they were thrips. And I didn't know if it was from my plants or the plant that got shipped for me. So that got shipped to me. And I took, I took a cutting of it. The bottom two leaves, the bigger ones are still in the original plant. And then I took the top off and I'm saving it as a cutting. So I'm water propagating it right now just to see what it does and uh, it was a lot easier for me to clean the leaves off so now he's completely pest free it's very close to that guy so he's completely pest free now and I'm really hoping he makes some aerial roots soon so that I can eventually put him into Lekka so that's the update on my varicose well, I hope you guys like this video today give it a like comment and subscribe if you'd like to and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one.